Hey guys and welcome to another how-to tutorial. I believe this is part 10 now of our grand church build and today we are going to focus on the interior. Now that I think most of the exterior is done, in fact I think all of the exterior is done. Uh, yes we have built the the roof, <laughs> the, uh, the two towers are completed and now we need to focus our attention on the inside uh, I believe the other stairwell to the tower and also we've got a little bit of the flooring and some seats the pews and um, I think there's a choir stand and somewhere central where um, the priest can do his um, like conduct his prayer time for people yeah but anyway we've got to do some church stuff <laughs> so i think what we'll do first we'll get rid of all this grass um and we'll fill in the the borders the edges with this um stone slab i'm having to think there oh gosh thinking's dangerous Whew, don't want to be venturing into that realm Oh no, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Right, so, we'll fill in, ooh, one block too many, once again, is that, no it didn't, I didn't think it did. Right, okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we can't finish this floor off just yet until we do the other side of the tower. Right, so we might as well make a start. Oh, good gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick my way through all this and try and figure out what I've done. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. So there's a block there. Okay, so one, two. Okay, that block there, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five blocks in. And then one block down. I think I can remember that. So I've got to calculate the central points. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So this must be one of the central blocks. Let's back up a bit. There we go. And this must be the next one. So yeah, that must be right then. Okay, so what I did here, as far as I can remember, bearing in mind, um, I think the last time when I built the um, the other stairwell in the other tower when I was having to play around with it was oh, a good number of days ago now. So I'll be lucky if I can actually remember everything that I did. But I remember this part, we go all the way up to the next floor. So, where is it? It's about here, isn't it? Is that right? Does that look right? Yeah, that looks right. And around <clears throat> these four blocks, because this is acting like a central pillar, um, somewhere for all the, the stairs to sort of snake round and slowly work their way up to the next level uh, it was it was the only design really I could think of or the best design I should say that I could think of that would do the job uh, efficiently so we'll go all the way up there we go right what I did for the next part in building the actual stairs themselves because I was a little bit concerned that I'd run out of headroom um, by using the four blocks, I decided that I'd use half slabs. So uh, the block I decided to use for this part was the uh, the stone slabs. Um, and as you can see, we went up in half block increments and just working our way round the pillar until we get to the top. And it actually worked out quite well. I was uh, very pleased with uh, the result, actually. It, it turned out very well. 
I just need to remember which face I did it on. So this will be the mirror image of the opposite wall. Okay. Um, so it'll be facing this wall here. Okay. <clears throat> so this way is where our first block will go. Just there. And then we'll slowly work our way around. Uh, for this part here, what I did, yeah, to go up a block here, all I did was I placed a slab on a block that I could place a half slab, then place the half slab where I intend it to go, then get rid of that block there and carry on going up. And that's how we got around that little problem. <clears throat> so we'll work our way all the way around the pillar with the stairs. Oops. Going all the way to the top. And so on and so forth. Yes, so um, I do apologise that um, I feel I feel the need to apologise. So I'll explain the reason for my apology. Um, there hasn't been a great level of activity of videos <clears throat> lately on my channel, uh, and that's purely because um, my commitments have been elsewhere. And what I mean by commitments, for those of you who aren't aware of what's happening in my life outside of my channel and work, uh, me and my wife are soon to be expecting our first child. And we have been busy getting everything ready. And when I mean everything ready, I mean um, going out with family, looking for prams, purchasing prams, building prams, <laughs> um, getting other things ready for the arrival um, and also getting his nursery ready and uh, I believe yesterday also my wife she had um, I think they call it is it a oh, is it like a baby it's, it's a gathering anyway. I think it's a baby shall I call it, but I don't think, I'm not sure. I think that's wrong because um, <laughs> normally I seem to get everything wrong. But she had a gathering with family and friends where it was just the girls only and all, everyone showered her. Well, really, it's, it's the baby, but they showered her with lots of gifts and presents and lovely cards that they've done um, with nice little messages and... Um, trying to predict the date, the weight, what colour hair he's going to have. Yes, we are having a boy. Um, and it was a fun day for them. And, you know, that, that's great. That's fantastic. And I've been busy at home just making sure everything's ready for his arrival because I don't think we've got long left now. It's only a matter of weeks now. So he could arrive at any second. He could arrive actually in the middle of this record. Well, not arrive, but the process could start in the middle of this recording. So, <clears throat> so yeah, for various different reasons uh, related to our wonderful um, impending arrival, there haven't been uh, many videos at the moment. Is this going to be the norm? No. Um, it will change, uh, we will get back to some sort of normal state, but there will be days or weeks inevitably where there will not be quite as much content as what I have put out before. So I just want to make you guys aware, don't worry, there will be more videos coming soon uh, because I know that the Red Dead Minecraft has um, come to a standstill and so has my Minecraft story. Don't worry, I've not pushed them to one side. Um, I will be getting on back onto them as soon as possible um, because especially for my Minecraft story uh, there's a lot of editing that's involved now with the videos rather than me just recording a video and uploading 
I actually um, I have quite a bit of editing that I need to do uh, just to make sure that the video is up to scratch and up to standards uh, for where I feel it needs to be to provide a good video for you guys to watch so yeah it, it, I, I need I need time to actually spend on getting the the recording right getting the video uploaded and um, so yeah they, they, they will eventually come back at some point so I won't worry too much well I'm not worried so neither should you be it's all fine it'll all work out in the end and that series anyway it's just going to continue um, for as long as I deem necessary so you know if, if there's a month where there isn't an episode that is released out uh, yeah that's fine you know another episode will come out as of when so that, that's the beauty of at least of that project <clears throat> um so yes as you can see now what i'm doing round the edges of the staircase we are going up with the pillars uh, these are the outer wall pillars because we need uh, to provide a stable access route getting up the stairs without the risk of actually falling off and getting frustrated and having to climb all the way back to the top again. Or if you've got the game on survival mode, um, falling to your impending doom. Uh, never good. Never, never good. And we certainly don't want any injuries on this game. No, no. Always got to think about health and safety. Uh, but don't worry, this is in creative mode, so it's all gravy. We're fine. Um, so quickly get this pillar built. And then we'll go around with this one and then we'll have a look and see what we did. Um, in terms of the uh, the bits in the middle uh, because I believe I didn't fill I did not fill in solely all the blocks in the middle because I didn't want it to look um, boring and dull and also we've got these glass pane windows here and it felt a shame just to spoil the natural light um, so I wanted to try and incorporate that somehow into the stairwell and the staircase um so we'll just have a quick look just to see what i did um <clears throat> so yes i think that's what we did we filled the first face up completely did we fill it all the way up no we, we couldn't have done or did we yeah we must have done oh kudos <laughs> All right, yeah, so we must have filled in this part here. That's fine. So this wall here, as you come in through where the arch is, you fill up. And I believe you go all the way to the top. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go all the way to the top. So this wall, it doesn't matter because it's, it's not facing anything. There's no windows there. So you can fill in the gap on this side it doesn't really matter because you do need a solid wall uh, to create this sort of ooh, confined tight spiral um, confined space I said confined twice but I felt it was necessary to say confined just to really give you the impression of how snug of a squeeze it is of getting around the staircase so yeah there we have it that's your first part. Um, so now the second wall, let's have a look. So we go up, how many blocks? One. Would it be easy just breaking them? Yeah. So we go up one, two, three. And then we leave a two block gap. Ah, yes. And then an arch. And then we go up one, two, is that right? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, 
three, yeah, that must be right. And I think you repeat that process on the other three sides, two sides, two sides, yeah, you do that on the other two sides. But I'll just build it on the one side of the wall. So what you're gonna be doing here, you're gonna be going, oops, not that. One, two blocks, three blocks high, okay. Missing two gaps, and then placing upside down stair blocks to create like an arch, like a window arch. Uh, and also, are the beds there, we do not need the bed. Place your cobblestone walls there so that you don't fall off the edge of that little gap there. So it just keeps you safely within the confined spaces of the staircase and i believe we continue to repeat this process until we get to the top so that's two and three so you go one two upside down stair blocks get your cobblestone wall fill in the gap there so once again going up three blocks one two and three place an upside down stair block count two blocks up first so you've got your little window here especially when you can look outside how nice is that what a lovely thing that is uh, and then the last part i think do we fill this in we must fill this in yeah, we fill fill this last part in because you're not going to be adding in a window structure as such. So yes, repeat the process on the other two sides of the wall. I'm not going to do it uh, because time's pressing on on this video and I need to show you what we did with the arch. Um, right, yeah. I think I need to have a look to see what I did with the arch. What did we do? Uh -huh. So it looks like we continued around. Is that right? Is this what we did? Is this right? Ooh. Let's let's try it out. See what it, how it looks. So I'm not 100% sure exactly what I did. Come on. There we go. Oops. No, that's wrong. Come on. What's going off here? Don't you just love it when a video goes well? There we go. There we go. Oh, for a minute then, I didn't think we were going to do it. <laughs> right. So I think we get rid of these two blocks here. We do not need them. They are just redundant. And what do we do here? So we place block there, block there. Okie dokie. So we have a block there. It looks like we have a block here as well. Do we? Do we get rid of them blocks? You see, this, <laughs> this is the problem when you leave a video long enough and then you come back to it and then you just like, what on earth did I do? Because I honestly do not know what on earth I did here, but I think I know what I did here. Yeah, we got rid of those stair blocks and we filled in the gap here. Uh, and I think we did this so high uh, until we got to a certain level. Uh, and then I did something rather fancy, uh, which I may show you, I may not. Um, it just depends. Well, I definitely don't think I'll be showing you in this video. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Okie dokie. So.
so that completes that part there. So repeat the process on this wall, get rid of them two upside down stair blocks and you're going to replace them with four blocks now. Uh, we'll just go up that high for the time being because we want to create this arch and then replace an upside down stair block there. And for here, what did we do here? I think we just filled this in. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Nothing else to it. Yep, that's right. That's what we did. So what we can do. Yeah, what we can do is we'll take our stone slab, fill in part of the floor that we know we can do. Oops, I'm making a complete hash of this. There we go. There we go. Is that right? No, that's not right. Anyway, anyway, we might as well do these bits, haven't we? There we go. That looks fine. And then we'll place our cobblestone wall at the bottom, and I think I placed a torch at the bottom to give it a bit of light. Yep, there we go. So that looks good. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to have another episode on this uh, tower that we're building. But we'll make things a little bit more interesting now and we'll actually have a look at the interior quickly look at the interior before we call it um an episode right here or whenever <laughs> so we'll use some dark oak wood stairs and we'll have a look at the seating arrangement um, right. Okie dokie. So I think what we'll do. So we'll have a quite a seat there. So what we can do right here is we'll place some seating, some pews for people to sit down. I suppose we could get rid of that, couldn't we? Have it three blocks? Two and three? Yeah, I suppose we could have it two and three. <clears throat> Leave a gap. And then we'll just continue filling out parts of the floor where people will take a seat, sit down, you know, listen to the service um sing some prayers uh some hymns sing some prayers no do some prayers sing some hymns and generally be jolly who knows this may even be a jolly church you do not know So we've got some seat in there. Should we, should we do? Should we copy it on this side as well? Yeah, I think I think we will. So we'll place a few more stair blocks along here. And a few more. Two more at the back. So you get the feeling. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do, where you want to place the seat in the pews, um, etc., etc. But I just feel, yeah, we'll, we'll place a few along here um, just to give it an effect. Um, you know what we could do, actually? Um, yeah, we don't need the glass blocks anymore. Where is it? This is me just thinking outside the box now. Um may be a little unorthodox but you know I think for the benefit of this particular church yeah it could be 
necessary. We could put some like bookshelves here and here where all the uh, the hymn books are kept and if anyone wants to take a book they can just grab a book take a seat and then you know they can listen to the service so let's cover that block there so what we could do here we could place some books there and some books there yeah that looks good like bookshelves there we go how nice does that look looks beautiful so yeah I think what we'll do now I'll call it here for today's episode and then I think what I will do I will wrap everything up in here so I'll do a bit of tinkering um, a bit of sprucing up inside um, this church hall and then I'll add a little bit of decor and detail uh, and I'll finish this tower off as well and the floor and the next episode we'll, we'll call it the grand tour so everything will be finished done completed and we'll just take a nice sort of leisurely stroll through and around this build so I can talk through um, what I've done and come to like a general summary and a conclusion and me gloating saying how pleased and happy I am with this this build and I have done a remarkable job <laughs> or you may think I've done a terrible job but anyway if you have enjoyed watching this particular video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos on various different uh, <laughs> various different um, themes that I have going like my tutorial builds my stories and any other games that I am currently um, participating in so thank you for watching this episode and I hope to see you again in the final episode of this tutorial build i hope you have a good day and a weekend for that matter take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time